Welcome back to She Gets a Pod. Okay? She Gets a Pod because... Well, if you've been here, you know the story. Anyway, uh, my name is Shan, a.k.a. Chantal. Okay? I'm not tall. I'm very short. 5'4", to be exact. I'm from Philly by way of ATL currently. And I have two Jamaican parents, so... There's that. I am a Gemini. I have two kids. I am a mother, an auntie, a sister. And I'm a, I'm a little weird, and that's okay. I'm a little quirky, and that's okay. Um, I have a big head, huge head, all right? Um, two great melons. Uh, juicy, healthy, poly pocket. And I'm just out here sharing, and I'm glad you're here. This is another season, season 22 to be exact. If you would like to find me, you can find me in the social streets at ShambiPodden. ShambiPodden.com is also my website. I do have creative books for podcasters, people who want to podcast or people who want to create content. You can find those books on Lulu.com, made by me. I also have five other podcasts outside of this one. If you go to shambypodden.com, you can see them all. All right. I appreciate you listening because you did not have to be here. I am an indie podcaster, meaning there is no team behind me. It is just me and me on this mic. Um, thank you for checking out last season. Last season was amazing. Thank you, Drake Pod Fam. My Pod Fam is still strong. We're going into another year. Let's go. Let's get into this episode. <laughs> oh, hey. I'm eating pops without the silver bag. And I'm not going to explain that because those who are listening, who are in the correct age range, know what I'm talking about. It's my version of a Sunday morning, but it's really... Sunday afternoon. I have a guest to record at two and I got time today because I'm doing laundry and changing sheets and blankets and washing duvets and I'm washing curtains and I'm just like you know I got time and this is fresh on my mind and y'all can have my midday breakfast with me. Um, I wanted to talk about outside energy that outside energy and knowing when you're over it (laughs) knowing when you're not trying to get a call from everybody you're not trying to see everybody you're not trying to be around everybody and I am here to reassure you that it is perfectly fine because all of that other extra shit is unnecessary okay there's a lot of bad vibey people outside. There's a lot of good people outside that have good intentions, but they cling on to the wrong people that camouflage that shit. And the thing about getting older is we have less of a patience or a want to break down someone's walls or unwrap someone's levels until they truly show who they are so if you don't show us what we need to see to start with people are not going to try to keep coming at you to see if you have another better sense of self okay so (laughs) you know how your parents be like do your best be your best show your best you're gonna have to do that for me you're gonna have to do that i'm not about to chase no one. I'm not going to teach no adult how to be a great friend or a good person. I'm not here to continue what your mother didn't do. I'm not here to fulfill the areas that your father should have showed up. Let me go get my tea. Hold on. I'm coming. I got my slipper.
So I'm drinking green tea because my esthetician said that green tea or spearmint tea helps the skin. But you got to do it without sugar. So that's another hump. You got to get over but. When people talk about FOMO, I've never experienced FOMO. Um, now, when I'm craving someone, when I'm in a relationship with someone, when I see that we have a promising future, of course, I want to be around you. Um, I don't care if you just go into Target. I don't care if you just ride in to go meet your plug to go get what you want to smoke on. I want to ride. I want to be your passenger. You know what I'm saying? But... If I'm not into no one, if I'm fulfilled in that area of companionship that I need at the time, I feel no need to be at the party. I don't want to be at the club. I'm not trying to go out for drinks. I'm not trying to hang at no bar. I'm not trying to uh, club hop. I'm not trying to go to no strip club with a whole bunch of phony people who just need attention to be seen. I'm, I don't want to be around none of that because... I cannot hold back my thoughts and how I feel on my face. And if you see me and I make a face and you don't like it, I'm going to tell you why I don't like why 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 it's like that. So I stay in my house, right? And the way that people are are out here having relations is crazy to me. Like there's no way you can care about yourself and make the moves that you make. There's no way that you thought this through and put yourself in this hole. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of that keeps outside energy away from me. I'm not distracted a lot. Uh, my distraction would be scrolling too long. <laughs> There's no one that I'm digmatized by. I could care less if Dick came around. Um, I'm not going to let no man who has no future for me to build on get me caught up in a need to bake a rapture. Um, I'm not out here dating multiple people. It's not multiple men ringing my phone. Um, ain't nobody flying me out for sessions. Like, I did that shit in my 20s. <laughs> and where has that got me? In my own house with my kids, everything in my name, peaceful, comfortable, clean, quiet. I dictate what comes in my house and I dictate what goes out my house. Okay? When you add on a whole bunch of different energies of people, you got to deal with, well, what did they mean by this? Or why is such and such not talking to me? Or... Um, I made a post and everybody's looking at the post, but nobody's commenting on the post. They're commenting, but they're commenting some shit you're not going to like without typing it. They're airing conversations about what you post to other people. And my thing is like, what's the value of having people around you and having that access to you if they're not filled with great intentions? And that's my thing too. A lot of people get into like their late 20s, their 30s, their 40s even, and you're losing friends or friendships aren't that great. That's natural because if you are maturing and you are moving forward and you want clarity, some people perform best in chaos. So if your aim is clarity and they trying to continue the chaos, you're going to have to make a decision. I'm going to, am I going to try to drag them out of the chaos life that they're attracted to? Or, or I'm going to remove myself. And I'm the type of person that I would rather remove myself. Now, you may ask, Shan, you don't go nowhere. She Gets a Podcast will be right back. This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp. It's early in the year. Christmas is done. Happy New Year's were said. We heard them, okay? But how do you feel? It's tax time and frustration is on the rise all across the board. 
layoffs are still happening and people have lost loved ones and the way that life was being lived in 2023 is not what's happening at the beginning of this year. You just need some relief. But sometimes going out with friends or going out with family and talking to them is not help. It's not helping. And it's okay. Sometimes you need to find a way to climb out of your thoughts in a positive way. If you need professional help, try BetterHelp. They will work right with you. Contact www.betterhelp.com slash she gets it. You can get started today with 10% off your first month with BetterHelp to get the relief you need to be your best self again. Do not sit in those thoughts. Get the help you need today. Now back to the show. You don't be in the mix. You don't do nothing for real that other people do your age. So how are you pulling yourself away from the chaos? By not hitting you up as much. By not calling. I don't inquire about other people that I don't know. I don't ask about your relationship. Most people, when they tell me about their relationship, is them telling me about their relationship willingly. I'm not asking nothing. I'm not bringing up no names, okay? Now, most people that talk to me know if they ask me, so what's going on with your boy? I know who they talking about. They know who I'm talking about. But they don't know no names and they don't know no face. Why? Because he doesn't matter. Because his position is one position only. Let's practice this nuttery. Okay? And we practice that nuttery with a condom. Because I feel like this too. Outside energy is definitely with sex. And a lot of people are having bad vibes and fucked up lives because y'all are sharing y'all bodies with someone who has no good intentions for you and is also dealing with their badass karma and y'all are raw dogging. Why the fuck are y'all out here raw dogging people that you have no good intentions with? You have no future building goals with. So, nah, I can't be giving nobody out here my raw energy like that. It's not healthy. It's not safe. Emotionally, you're going to be tied to this person. I don't want to crave a man that has no good intentions for me. I don't want to keep calling you up to come through because I need it. I need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. You know what I'm saying? If your schedule is free, I ain't got no no um, edits to do. I ain't doing no overtime. I got time. I'm not tired. I'm in a good mood. And you hit me up and I agree. Then it can happen. But I don't care if it doesn't happen. I don't care if you cancel. I don't care if you can't come through. Because I'm not phased by that shit. Because I crave people mentally. And so everybody's different. So if you um, find yourself craving somebody that you deem just a fuck, and that tells me that you're too emotionally attached because I don't crave anyone. I'm not sending no texts, no eyeballs to anyone to come through because I don't care if you come through or not. But if you come through and our schedule's online like Captain Planet... We could make something shake. Okay? Most of the people out here should just roll over and get the lotion and rub one out. Okay? Because if I don't mentally connect with you, um, mentally you're not stimulating me, uh, you don't excite me, we don't really have conversations we don't deal with each other outside of that session. That I'm not going to crave you. And that's just how I am. I've always been like that. So it's either I'm all about you. I'm going to be in the know of your everyday dilemma, goal, happiness, all of that. But if I don't want to know, 
I'm not attached. Okay? We could go about our lives. I'm not going to feel bad. You're not going to hurt my feelings. That's another thing. Not allowing that outside energy allows me to be balanced with my feelings. You're not going to hurt my feelings. I don't have any expectations for you because I've our our interaction is capped. Like I know where the top is. I know what I'm trying to reach and I know when you got to go. When you are a woman and you get to that level, it is superior. And a lot of men may not admit it, but they enjoy a crazy bitch. I ain't never been a crazy bitch. I ain't never called a man a hundred times. I ain't never called a man and said, hey, are you at work? And he said, yeah, I'm at work and pulled up at his job. I'm not calling other women that I think you're talking to. I'm not fighting nobody for you. I ain't never been in a relationship where I feel like I need to fight a woman for this man. What? What? When you get to that point, it tells me that you are emotionally unbalanced. You need to check that shit. Okay? So, be picky about what outside energy gets to come into your zone. Your zone is where you create, where you have peace, where you live. Everybody shouldn't be allowed to come to your house. Everybody shouldn't know the gate code, have a key fob. Everybody shouldn't be allowed to know what car you're going to be in, what time you're going to get home, what your number is. This is another thing that I do. I hate a man... That can go out in public with you. Y'all got plans. And ever, every five minutes, somebody sees him and he know him and they have to have a conversation. Ew! I've been in so many relationships with the mayor of the city type man. I don't like it. I like low-key people who don't have to be in the mix. But sometimes you might see them there, but they're not trying to be on the main stage of shit. I don't like men who talk too much. I'm a Gemini. I talk enough for the both of us. Okay? I like low-key, chill shit. Clean shit. A man who's picky about what he do, how he do it, and who he with. Okay? A small group of friends guy. All right? So... A lot of that outside energy and that drama shit is limited because they spend their time investing in a small group of people to really get to know them. When you know 30 plus people all the time and all these people can call your phone or all these people can access you, you probably live in a chaotic life. Okay, when you got to remember this life for this person and this life for that person and who this person don't talk to and who you can't invite and your party um, takes four months to plan, I don't want no parts. You know what I'm saying? That's too much. I've I've been at friends' get-togethers and parties and been uncomfortable, not by them, but by the different energies I'm getting in the room. Like there's, there's people here that are really not for them. There's people here that just came just to see what they didn't like, what they're going to talk about tomorrow. There's people here that are fake and phony in the picture and they're going to have a problem later on because they feeling like you don't deserve X, Y, and Z. I don't want to be around that shit. That's that outside energy type shit. That's why I'm very low key. All right. I have family members that do not know my address, will not know my address, and I dare them to come up this driveway. Okay? Limiting your access protects your peace. That outside energy is not always for you. So be picky about it. All right? I got a show to do for Cozy Womb Podcast. So I got to do some notes for my guests. Um, I want you guys to have a great day. Remember what I said. That outside energy, you don't need it. That outside energy don't have no good intentions for you. Okay? You don't lose anything 
that's for you. You don't gain anything great with someone wishy-washy. And learn what people to invest your time in. And don't let anybody make you feel bad about having the boundaries and the particulars you have on the way that you move. Because the way that you move is supposed to get more filtered as you grow. If you are in your 30s acting like someone in their 20s, you're going to have 20 ass people problems. Just saying. My name is Shan. This is She Gets a Pod. I appreciate you for listening. Y'all have a great day, a great night. I don't know when you're listening to this episode, but I appreciate your ears. And I appreciate you very much. Don't forget to check out shabypodden.com. Peace.